we will see how this goes. I'm filming this upside down, so uh, <laughs> hopefully uh, <laughs> fix it in post. If you're watching this and it looks right side up, fix it in post. Here we go. All right. Good morning, everybody. You're listening to the Warm Up Podcast. I'm your goofy host, Lou Michael, and we are driving to the gymnasium for a workout today. What is it? Chest day, best day, more of a push day, and we're off to the races. Hey, everybody. How you doing? Uh, yeah? That good, huh? End of the year? Holiday season? Hanukkah's almost done. Christmas is coming. I have no idea when Kwanzaa is, but... I, it, I know it's one of the three big ones, so whatever you're celebrating. Oh, my God, the cops already? Come on. Come on. We're as wireless as we can be. All right, he flew right by us, huh? Um, so what's going on? Well, new camera angle on account of I got, uh, I got a new camera mount for the car. So uh, we're not using the old duct tape mount. <laughs> If you guys want to see how the sausage is made, this was holding the camera for about a year. And in the colder climate, uh, duct tape's incredible, but um, it, it's stickiness. As we all know, the enemy of sticky is sub-zero temperatures. Uh, so it added a rigid bounce uh, to the show that, you know, production didn't see. So we're going to have to have a chat with them, which is just a different part of me. Uh, while I'm rambling in the shower of how this show could be better. Uh, so anyways, I'm excited. Hopefully the camera angle is, it doesn't matter to you guys, but you know, it does to me. Um, so anyways, I took, uh, took too many, um, Advil PMs last night cause I wanted to get some good sleep cause of nightmarish traveling. And then, uh, I, I, I took three instead of two, and God damn it, slept like a rock, but you just wake up in a dissociative state, like, huh, what year is it? Like, how'd you sleep? Are you in pain? And be like, no. As a matter of fact, I'm having trouble feeling anything. So how are we going to combat that, everybody? An exercise and a pre-workout and a healthy dose of caffeine. And I, I want to give, uh, first of all, the the... the the pre-workout today, the energy drink we're going for, is pussy energy. <laughs> you believe that? Pussy comes in a can. It was put there by a man in a factory downtown. Uh, but I do want to say this was a gift. And the, the, the first one uh, from a buddy of the show and a buddy, buddy in real life. And I asked them if they wanted the verbal shout out of name. Uh, said no, probably because uh, they don't want to be <laughs> outed for being a fan of whatever the hell this is. Uh, but anyways, so you know who you are if you're watching right now. Thank you so much. And thank you for the pussy in a can. It's uh, pussy natural energy, 100% natural ingredients, which is, uh, you know, there's going to be a lot of pussy easy hack jokes here. But I mean, like, come on, 100% natural pussy. Ooh, boy, I hope there's not hairs in the can. <laughs> Just open up, getting banged out by a bush. Uh, I read up on this. It's 98 calories, uh, 25 grams of sugar. So that's a sweet pussy. <laughs> that's a sweet pussy in the can. I like your, excuse me, may I sip on your pussy <laughs> all day, all show. Come on. You got me a pussy in a can where guys, I, you know what? I know they're easy and hack jokes, but they're silly. And if you can't enjoy silly dad adjacent jokes, which is what I told uh, the judge, I'm like, hey, till we see a paternity test, I'm dad of Jason, baby. Uh, but anyways, all right, so here we go. 25 grams of sugar, a sweet the pussy. It's a product of the nether. <laughs> it's a product of the Netherlands. Of course, leave it to Northern Europe to put weird shit in a can. <laughs> Do you like our pussy in the can? That's more Swedish. <laughs> the Swedish chef is just like, Ooh, let me put your pussy in the can. <laughs> If anybody has a good Norwegian, is it Norway or, uh, hang on, hang on, I thought it was product of Norway, so that's Norwegian, right? Here's something, uh, they, they put high caffeine content, 80 milligrams, which we all know is a fucking joke, uh, for me anyways, I'm like, I don't get out of bed unless I have 80 milligrams brewing up, um, 
And then they have it at 80 milligrams per 8.4 ounces of fluid, gross, uh, p- pussy fluid. And then, uh, uh, and then because it's a Euro trash company, the, everything's in milliliters. So I'm like, come on, get it together. 250 milliliters evidently must be 8.4. Uh, you know what? I'll just take a sip. Let's get some pussy in our mouth. All right, here we go. One sip, everybody knows. Not bad. Not bad. Dare I say that's a chuggable pussy. (laughs) That's actually pretty good. Mm. It does... (laughs) If you're American and have never been to Europe, well, uh, try and get there. But uh, (laughs) point being is this, (laughs) this tastes like a product of Europe which is both a compliment and an insult because get your Euro trash natural muted flavors out of my fucking face. But at the same time, it's delicious, refreshing. That's just a recharging, that's, that's, it's subtle. (laughs) Like all good pussy, it's subtle. (laughs) Oh God, I hate myself for these jokes, but I also love them. Uh, Oh yeah, oh yeah. Problem is, (laughs) Like any hardworking gentleman, I could probably have about two of these things. <laughs> All right, I'm sorry, but uh, I think before the gym, I would actually probably drink two pussies. Um, but they're 98 calories, so that's... I'm not saying it's bad, but we are breaking our intermittent fasting early to down a pussy. Um, but this is deliciously pleasant. And uh, I'm going to give it... I'm going to give it 4.5 sit-ups out of five would definitely pre-workout again. Uh, my, my one gripe is 80 milligrams of caffeine is not enough for me as a standalone pre-workout, but it should be. I just have a caffeine problem. Uh, and then the other thing is it's not sugar-free, but ah, if you're not worried about fasting, you know, it, it 25, gram, uh, 25 grams of sugar is kind of a lot, but it's, that's on par with like a soda pop. So, if you're going to work out really hard, you're going to burn that off. Might even be good for a uh, more intense workout where you want some carbs in there. And it's got a lovely flavor. Man, I unironically love pussy. <laughs> uh, that's great. Huh? I, I like all kinds. All right, see, it's silly. Huh? I don't care that it's hack. It's silly. I love pussy. <laughs> pussy in a can, what will they think up next? I, 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 if pussy wants to sponsor me, I'll go on a green lumber and pussy tour as a stand-up comic. Or blue chew and pussy. I don't know, dick pills and pussy drinks. There you go. Huh? You down a pussy before you go down on a pussy? All right, see, they keep coming. They're bad, but they're fun. Huh? Make them up if you're listening right now. Make up your own pussy jokes. Put them in the comments. It's just the three of us, huh? We can can all talk about it. YouTube's immediately going to be like, I don't think about that, huh? That's the other thing my sweet man was worried that I was going to be demonetized. And uh, to that I say, you gots to be monetized for them to demonetize you, motherfucker. I'm four-dimensionally subverting the YouTube overlords, but I don't care. Anyways, this is awesome. We're gonna, we're gonna finish it. We're gonna finish it before we get there. Oh man, never thought I'd say I was chugging pussy, but here we go. Mm. Last drop. Wow, that's really good. Watch this be some Euro trash aphrodisiac drink. I'm gonna walk in all fucking torqued up on pussy. Also, it's like, I don't know, if it's a Weijin drink. Weijin? Norwegian? Norway? I, God damn it. Hang on. Finland, Norway, Sweden, Denmark, the Netherlands. The Netherlands are also referred to as the Dutch. All right, I'm fine. My geography's. Uh, fucking awesome, but uh, I, I want to say this is product Nor- Norway, product of the Netherlands. Fuck, fucked it the whole time. God damn it! I was saying Norway. It's the Netherlands. Of course, it's a freaky deaky Dutch. 
Everything I just said makes way more sense if you know how fucking weird Dutch people are. And I say that with love. Love the Dutch people, but they have a shit ton of museums about sex. They, they are pretty keen on prostitution work. I had a, I had a, a prostitute in the red light district uh, to invite me to her door because it was uh, the whooring the hour, if that's, the pro- it's a problematic term, but let's be honest, I was drunk at 2.30 in the morning in Norway with uh, my best good buddy, Adam Devine, and uh, a sex worker tweaked my left nipple so hard, she just pinched it, she awoke in something. I was like, Bleh! I've never had that in my life. She just pinched it and wanted to give me a freebie. And uh, me being the sweet Catholic boy that I am, falling out of the church, but whatever. Uh, I was like, no, no, I, I think so. A free sex, you say? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm trying to quit. And she tweaked my nipple and was like, you sure? Like the freebie. I was like, are you guys allowed to do that? Like, I don't know if there's pimps, maybe, I don't know. Anyways, so ever since uh, the Netherlands, uh, my left ni- nipple was tweaked so hard that I'm like, oh no, it's been activated. So thanks for that. And pussy in a can, we're just out here crushing pussy. All right, come on. Am I proud of it? No, but that was awesome. Good rant. That's the most we've ever spent on the pre-workout for the warm-up today. But I don't know. A gentleman knows you got to take your time on that pussy. (laughs) Not just chug it and crush it. My bad. My bad. All right, I think that's it. I think we're done. We're done talking about pussy. Good rant. A lot of fun. Thank you, bud. Uh, I appreciate that so much. Hopefully see you at some shows soon. And uh, pick up pick up a box of pussy. <laughs> Whew. It's counteracting with the Advil PM that's still coming off. This is going to be a silly workout. Uh, we're going to move some weight. Anyways, <coughs> checking in on you guys. Uh, Fitness-wise, doing all right. Losing some more weight before the holidays, which... Uh, if you're trying to lose weight in between Thanksgiving and Christmas, God, I feel for you because this is uh, a tough time to do it. But luckily, I've been, excuse me, burping through that one, working and traveling so much that uh, I'm kind of, you know, I'm still hitting my protein macros uh, to try and retain my, my muscle mass. But uh, there's two ways of doing the road, and it's either, you know, booze and drug fueled debauchery with, uh, with food uh, of low quality and, you know, all that. Or you can try and, you know, uh, do it healthy, but then you're like not eating a lot, which is also kind of what I've, I've been doing. So it's like, I'm losing weight, but it's not, it's not like the healthiest cut, you know, you just kind of, it's like, well, it's like a cancer cut. I hate to say it. Whoops. Didn't mean to say it like that. But you know, when you see somebody losing weight and you're like, Hmm, normally weight loss is a good thing, but <sighs> Not, not in this instance. That's kind of what it feels like. Um, is it insensitive? Yes. Uh, but, you know, that's how it feels. Um, not really. I, oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. We're in a problematic corner. Don't corner me. How do we get out of it? <gasps> Quick, change the subject. All right. Uh, so flying home from Florida, uh, I, I, my flights were delayed by uh, American Airlines, which, got to tell you, if you're going to fly... Uh, anywhere, don't, because flying sucks so much ass right now, Uh, because there's just four companies, and they're all being like, can we fucking grab their testicles and squeeze them? Proverbial testes, everybody's got them, the great life ball bag, you know what I'm talking about. Ladies, you've been kicked in the nuts, whether you know it or not, it was just metaphorically. Uh, (laughs) What the fuck am I saying? Uh, But... I, I, this is the first time I ever felt like public rage because I just wanted to be home so bad uh, from being on the road for most of December. And normally December is a month where I like to chill out, kind of take stock of the year I had. Uh, my birthday's at the end of December, so it's also, you know, it's kind of fun because I take stock of the year, calendar year I had, and just the year of life. And uh, I've, I've, been, I've been lucky working myself to the bone and also traveling a lot, but it, I'm feeling it. You know, my weary bones uh, need to rest them up a little bit. And to be delayed for 12 hours at the West Palm Beach Airport uh, is a horrific Stephen King novel that's yet to be uh, accomplished. 
But I, I, it, near the end of it, I was praying for the Langoliers to just eat me alive because I'm like, this fucking sucks, man. Uh, it, you know, after you, after you, I, I hate, I hate how uh, it's so un-American where you have all these freedoms and then when you're beholden to something like an airline company, the, you immediately, the reason people have temper tantrums and are upset is because they make you a powerless toddler. And it's fucking ridiculous. And here's the thing. I'm not, I didn't, I, luckily, I didn't uh, have a scene or anything, but I was kind of mopey and sad. But, like, I see people, like, flare up, and I, I used to not get it, and now I get it because it's just over the decade of all the things that suck ass, which progressively, I think we can say, uh, if you're an elder millennial or more, every year of life, even though, it seems like it should be more comfortable, and it, to a degree it is. Uh, but it, it just seems like the overall pleasure and existence of mundane things have become more and more irritating. And coming to an apex with the pandemic and people punching people out on planes, I didn't quite get it because I wasn't traveling as much. But now I'm like, oh yeah, if you're gonna, you know, just fucking charge people an incredible amount of money, which they probably don't have all the time, and it's the only way to travel right now in our modern ways. And then you fucking fuck people over like they're children. Guess what? Some of them are going to explode like children. And I'm not saying it's the right thing to do. Uh, the stoic in me would say, accept it, accept it. But stoics also believe if you're too tired of it all, kill yourself. Which, mm, I, don't, I don't know if I agree with that, stoicism. But anyways, uh, <laughs> I guess my point being is I had two airport pizzas and got home at midnight uh, on, on, on Monday. I don't know, zero dark 30 on Monday. Uh, all's that's to say, I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about other than I think just fly Delta. Delta still sucks ass, but Southwest, American Airlines, and United somehow found a way to suck more ass. And then Spirit, JetBlue, and Frontier were like, hey, we're not even gonna pretend we don't suck ass. We're going to tell you we suck ass and kick you in your what? Metaphorical ball bag. And then, uh, and then you show up to the place you, you, uh, traveled and people are like, how, how was the flight? And you politely go, not bad. And then, you know, uh, it robs a little bit of the joy of the whole experience. Cause you know, you're only halfway there and you've got to do that nightmarish travel all the way back home. And then when you get home, you go, well, what the fuck? <laughs> Anyways, so Delta, we suck the least in American flights. That's the other thing is, uh, it's only flying in America that is that bad, which different, different subject. Holy shit, we've rambled for too long. The pussy hit my brain. <laughs> um, <laughs> let's change gears, get ready to have a good workout. Hope you guys are warmed up. I'm warmed up too. I'm fucking redlining. You guys can see that. I went from groggy uh, PM to pussy on my lips, just all the way up. Whew, take a break. Uh, I just want to say sincerely to everybody that has watched this year, thank you so much. Uh, this is going to be the last warm-up podcast I film in 2023, uh, mainly because it's the end of the year. I just want to take a couple weeks off, get to the new year. Um, I, I have had a lot of endeavors that I, I do for a year and stop. You know, fans of this might know Loaded for Bear and some Salsa Parlor stuff, but I enjoy doing this and I enjoy the people who enjoy this. Um, so, yeah, I'll be back in 2024. I'm going to try and take it a little bit more seriously in that uh, I know I'm on YouTube right now and I was on podcasting platforms, but the host server I used wanted to charge money for me to keep posting on that. So I'm going to figure out how to make the warm up more accessible for everybody. Uh, Wells keeping the production value. Oh, so low. So, you know, phoning it in, but leaving a voicemail. Um, other than that, the final warm up song of the year, uh, shout out to my buddy, Trevor. Uh, he put this, uh, song in my ears, whether he knew it or not. It's Punk Rock Loser by the Viagra Boys. Uh, it's just a fun one. It's got good warm-up qualities to it for the gymnasium. And uh, all right, everybody. Thank you so much again. 
Uh, warm up will be back in 2024. We got through 2023. We're doing okay. And uh, yeah, okay. Hope you guys had a good time. I did. Thank you guys so much. Again, really. You know, there it is. All right. Bye, everybody. Bye. Have a uh, good holidays and a happy new year. Bye.